Hello, Math Maniacs. Today I am super excited to share with you um, just an exploration activity for division. As I know, we've been asked to do that. So I'm excited. Now remember, if you want more of our videos, please subscribe below. Let's get started. So one of my favorite ways to uh, explore division is to just start with my double-sided counters. Okay, and I have some Lego uh, people here, so I will use that. Uh, but at school, I would just maybe just use the different, different color of the data chips. So here we go. This is how I do it. I start with uh, a sample number. I've got uh, 10 here. So I'm just going to add two more to this pile. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my dice number. So let's go with four. So that means that I'm going to share my cookies with four people. So I'm going to grab four of my Lego people here. Okay, and now I'm going to share my cookies with four of my Lego friends. So here we go. So you can see I divided or I shared uh, the cookies with my Lego people and they each get three. So now I'm going to roll again and this time only one of my friends gets, uh, gets the cookies. So only one lucky person and they get it all. Well, if they get it all, there's no leftover. There's no remainder. I roll again. Oh, this time it's four people again. And so now I might change my amount in the middle. I might add, maybe let's add two more in here. So now that I have two more, I roll again. And let's see, oh, this time it's two people that share the pile of cookies. And then I simply just share my cookies. So that is an exploration activity that I do with my students. So once you've done lots of um, exploring with that division uh, with bingo chips, what I do then is I've created a game for you. So um, little red guy here is going to play against me. So he's going to go there. He's got a dice. I have dice. What we, we're going to do is we're going to roll and whatever we roll, we're going to put that into groups. And if we have a remainder, we're going to keep the remainder. And at the end of the game, the person with the most remainder or the greatest remainder will win the game. So you want to choose the number to start with. I've chosen 30 because it's pretty, it's a nice number in the middle there. So that's what I've started. But you could start with 50. You could start with 45 or 24 depending on the needs of your students. Okay, once we've done that, we're gonna roll the dice and uh, we're going to share the amount with the number that we roll. So I've rolled a four here and so this is how I get my students to share that. I just flip my bingo chip and I have four. So I have four people because I rolled a four. I'm going to share 30 with four people and why this is helpful is my students can visually see if they're gonna get that remainder or not. And by now they're like, oh, I'm not gonna get a remainder or I am gonna get a remainder. Oh, and we can see here, if I've done this correctly, that this person is going to get four and three, which is seven. So everybody gets seven, but there are two remainder, which is good for me. So I get the two on my pile. So now it's Red's turn and he's gonna roll the dice. Whoa! And he gets five people, okay? So he's going to put five of the black color in front of him or her. I think he's a him though, so that's okay. Okay, and he's gonna share the remaining uh, white chips cookies with his people. Okay, so as we go, we can see that red, each of them are going to get five, but there are three that are left over. So he 
gets these three. And as you can see, as we keep continuing with the game, what's happening is the dividend is getting smaller and smaller and we go until we cannot share anymore. So now it would be my turn. I would roll my dice. I get two. So I'm gonna share it with two people. So here we go. And as you can see, the dividends get smaller and smaller. And eventually we're going to be at a spot where we won't be able to share. And then whoever has the most gets to win the game, most remainders. So as you can see, it's a, it's a really fun game. It's very hands-on. Uh, your students should be able to visually see and predict who, what's going to be a remainder and what's not. And that's the fun part of it. So um, remember, subscribe below, give it a try, and uh, let us know how you liked it. Bye-bye. Math is 